All right, real quick, I'm going to address this error right here. It says, bank interleave requested, but not enabled. And ignore that. Even though it's on the same screen, it's not related. Um, this is a BIOS error. That's just the video card checking itself. Um, and you'll notice this is the post screen. And this is my first time working with a 64-bit board. I've always used little uh, Intel Pentiums. Uh, this one's an AMD 64. And I've never had a 64-bit anything before. And the motherboard documentation is way under par, especially uh, what comes with the motherboard itself. And after checking numerous threads in different forums, you get a bunch of smart-ass members that said, I don't know, read your, uh, telling other people I've noticed uh, to read their manual. Well, if the motherboard documentation said anything about what the fuck this meant, then nobody would uh, have a problem with this and you wouldn't be posting it in the forum, you dumb fucks. So here's what we're going to do. If you see, and I'll tell you it's something in your BIOS settings. I'll tell you to go back into BIOS and set it up. Well, let's see. It's not what we want. If you go into an advanced chipset setup, memory configuration, and look, bank interleaving is automatically enabled. Channel interleaving is automatically enabled. All right. Nobody else seems to know what the fuck the problem is. Well, here's what it is. <coughs> In your, let's see if I got a flashlight. In your computer, right here. Wow, you're not gonna be able to see nothing. You got a couple different memory banks there. Let's see if I can get it closer. And you got bank one, which is on the left. It's got the two uh, different little memory banks on it, and uh, or uh, channel one, I believe, or uh, channel zero technically. And channel one's on the right, and it's got two more memory banks on it. Well, what it is, interleaving, is when the processor, since it's split in half, and it's a hyper, or it's multi-threaded, we're going to actually turn this off. What it, the processor tries to do is, while it's writing to one channel, and it tries to interleave... Alright, I don't remember what all I covered. My battery just died and it's been about an hour. But anyway, as you can see, in the first channel there, the first two banks of the first channel are the only two banks of the first channel. It's where I've got my RAM installed, gigabyte a piece. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the RAM and we're going to take one out of, we're going to take the bank uh, one out of channel one, or bank zero out of channel zero, whichever you want to call it, and put it in bank zero channel one, which is technically the second bank. Alright, and as you can see here, I'm going to switch it around, or maybe you can't see, I don't know. There's, um... So we got one in one on the left bank, and then one in the right bank of the same uh, bank. Of the, one in the left channel, one in the right channel, same bank. All right. So once that the processor is going to try. Now, what interleaving evidently is, I, I ain't done a lot of research on it, so I'm not any expert on it, but evidently what it appears to be is when the processor attempts to interleave, essentially, it's uh, reading and write operations to memory. So what it does is it will write to one bank while it reads from the other, as opposed to writing to memory, period, as a pool, as a whole, and then waiting for its write operation to complete before it can read back, it will actually split up how it uses the memory into two into sections and just read to one while it writes from the other, which is essentially almost doubling your your, the, your memory access time. So that's what memory interleaving is in a nutshell. Now, as you'll notice when we to reboot the computer, um, there we go. Now, you're going to have trouble seeing when it, because it goes by so fast. This little, that's what this little key right here on the keyboard's for, the pause break key. Okay. All right, now hit control, alt, delete to restart. So you can hit pause break to stop execution. And then you can hit any, see, and you hit any key at all to continue. And we're going to pause it right when the screen's done. There. 
you go. Now the memory, memory interleaving error is uh, gone. That's just the video card telling you to check in the RAM. And you can hit pause break and, and any, you can hit any key to unfreeze uh, to free up the execution. And hit pause break again, you can hit that real fast to uh, check different statuses. And there you go, that's how you fix that error. And that's pretty much what it means. Um, shit like that needs to be better documented by the motherboard manufacturers. And it's not, which pisses me off. Uh, which is when you get to uh, trial and error your way to a solution, which is what I've also done to enable, uh, er, figure out how to enable the Samba server without completely disabling SE Linux, and I'll cover that one too. But that's it for this one.